Cookies. Vamos. We gotta go outside go potty, huh? You having a hard time hearing me. She can't, she kind of lost her hearing. Um, she can still hear, it's just a little bit lost and delayed. I'll open the door and when I close it, she'll wake up, you know. Cookie is, um, I don't know how old she really is. She opened up her eyes. But I know she's getting up there. She's maybe 16, 17, but I've been saying that for a couple years. I had her in 2012 and I didn't know how old she was, but I knew she was a grown woman. She was a grown dog. She was uh, six years old, seven maybe, when I when I first got her in 2012. And I don't do the math anymore because it just makes me, it just makes me uh, sad, you know, knowing their time's going to come sometime. Yes, Cookie, I'm talking about you, mamas. Um, I've had her since 2012, it's 2022, it's been 10 years I've had her. She's been with me through a lot. Two years ago, in 2020, she had vestibular disease. She woke up one day, her head was, her eyes were twitching, her head was going left and right, and it scared the living shit out of me. It scared me so much. Um, I thought I had to let her go, I didn't know what was going on, and you know, Hi, ladies. And you know when you, you look up stuff online, it's not a good thing. You know, you look up something online and it'll tell you that your dog is going to die. You know, and it just says, says all the bad things. And um, vestibular disease, it apparently goes away if you wait it out. And her head, she looked like she was drunk. She couldn't, she couldn't walk. Um, she would stumble and fall down. She would hit things. Her head was swerving left and right. It was um, it was a really hard to witness. Is you know I, I loved her. You know I I love her. I love her, and um, I thought I had to let her go, but I waited it out, and it was a little over two weeks when it finally clicked and she's back to normal. Now she's had it twice. She had it through phases. That was the first time. She had it again like a year later or something like that, or half a year later. She hit her head on something and then she popped into that vestibular disease like deal again. Now, me personally, if it if it happens one more time, I've come to my I'm I've come to terms with it's time. It's time to 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 let her go. If it if it happens one more time, now, I've been living on borrowed time with her for two years. I know a guy who let his dog go because of vestibular disease, and he didn't even know it. He didn't even know it, that it was curable. He didn't even know that it would go away. He let his dog go, and I felt so sad for him. And I waited mine out. I waited it out, and um, I've got to spend two years with cookies and um i don't know if i don't you know it's gonna happen we all go you know and it didn't help me get prepared for it it kind of just it kind of put the um the thought in my head that you know She's gonna have to go someday, and it's gonna be soon, you know. But I try not to live, I try not to live worrying about the future. I try to appreciate the now and and, uh, and enjoy her while she's alive and give her as many kisses as I can. Now I got a, I got a puppy over there, lady, ladies, uh, ladies, uh, three, three years old, and she does a good job at taking care of Cookie. Whenever um, Cookie had vestibular disease, she um, peed herself. She, she, she slept all day, and she peed in the same spot. So I'd constantly, I'd constantly wash the 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 towels that she was on, and and um, she finally snapped out of it one day.
And um, not only did she snap out of it, she slowly progressed. Cookie, come here. Come here, girl. Come here. No? Y'all just want to stay over there? This is a heater's over there. She slowly progressed and she can run up the stairs. She ran back upstairs. I live on the third story on an apartment building. And she's using the steps, right? Now, right now, I, I carry her down the stairs every day. And um, I let her run up just to get some exercise. And if she, I'm, I watch her closely, so does Lady. She kind of spots her. And um, make sure that, you know, she don't stumble or fall or anything. She's a strong girl. Cookie's a strong girl. Oh, ladies. About to go on psycho potty, okay? We're about to go on psycho pee pee. So get ready. Get cookies. Get ready. We're gonna go on psycho potty, alright? Okay. Cookies, come on, girl. So, if any of you are worrying about vestibular disease in dogs, um, maybe my story could help ease somebody's mind out there that dog is going through the same thing, right? And um, her head had a permanent tilt. You can't see it right now because she's being shy right now. But her head had a tilt to it. Kind of like what Lady's doing right now. <laughs> and um, she had a, like a tilt for a long time, for a year. I want to say now she's normal. But she's still old. It doesn't take the fact out that, that she's old and she's getting older. But um, I feel like I'm living, definitely living on some borrowed time with her. And it it made me realize, looking at a, a video that I sent to somebody else, it was two years ago, 2020, whenever this happened. So I didn't realize two years went by, and I still have, I still have Cookie. So, uh, yeah, if anybody's dog has vestibular disease, um, and you're thinking about letting it go, um, I hope you hear my story and and maybe um, change your mind, you know. Wait it out a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks. Wait it out. I think it says, it's got a, online, it'll tell you. It'll tell you how many days. And I think for Cookie, it was like the last day, man. Last day I waited for her to get knocked out of her, her drunk coma that she was in. But she's out, and, and it's been it's been two years. I've I've got to get to kiss her and and um and be with her. So, all right, guys, take care.